We're here with attackman Michael Crampton, number 12, and midfielder Eric Smith, number 25. We're going to ask him some questions before uh, the Denver game this Saturday, the season opener. Uh, first off, what are your thoughts on the preseason looking back? Uh, I think we had a pretty productive preseason. Um, uh, we looked good against uh, Notre Dame early in the fall, and then uh, we uh, traveled to Manhattan to play a couple games there. And uh, I think the team was clicking pretty good, and uh, the offensive sets are running pretty smooth. All right, and how about speaking in short term, uh, what, are you, what are your expectations for the Denver game this Saturday, first game of the season? Well, Denver's always a, a game on their schedule that's been circled. Denver's a huge rival since the beginning of the program, you know, just since, since they're so close to us. Um, and preseason, they're ranked number four. And so we have really something to prove against those guys. We uh, lost in overtime last year, which was a pretty hard loss. But i um, pretty excited to get the season going. And there's no better way to open up the season than with Denver. So everyone's pretty excited and ready to get going on the season, and, as well as the Denver game. Now, in terms of the long term, what are your expectations for the entire season? Um, well, looking at conference play, um, it's the, the final year for the ECAC, so uh, we'd like to be a, con a championship contender and uh, hopefully get a, get a win there and uh, NCAA tournament berth would be uh, great for the program. I, don't know, I think we have the team to do it. Collectively, as a team, what are your specific goals for this season? Well, as a team, I think you know our first goal is just to make the conference tournament in the ECAC, and that starts by winning each conference game. So, you know, really just focusing on each game to get there and then being able to play in the conference tournament, hopefully get a title there, and then move on to the uh, NCAA tournament and work our way up to the national championship. I think that's um, a great goal for every player on this team and something that we've been striving for since the beginning of <clears throat> our four years here. And uh, everyone's pretty excited to get going on that. So it's just all about taking it in short milestones and uh, one game at a time. Both of you are heading into your final season with this team. Do you have any personal goals that you want to accomplish uh, on your final year here? Um, after playing for four years, I think uh, one of my main like personal goals is to, I guess, lead the offense to the best of my ability. Uh, I mean, the attack, we've been playing together for quite some time. I've been playing with Keith and uh, McKee for pretty much my whole time being here. And I think uh, as a personal goal, it'd be nice to make sure that we uh, we send we send us off on the right foot there and uh, make sure the offense does a pretty good job in helping this team. As a personal goal for me, you know, I uh, <clears throat> have been on midfield for all four years, kind of like Crampton down at attack, playing with Kyle Cassidy, even dating back to our freshman roommates in uh, basic training and everything like that. So I just thought that uh, that it would be a great, great way to go out is by winning uh, the ECAC and really having the offense along with Mike here just really um, be a really pungent offense, scoring a lot of goals, and then seeing our defense, you know, they've stepped up huge over the last four years. They've been an awesome, awesome job, and they've been a huge part of our team. So having both of those sides mesh together would be you know, the ideal thing to see from an individual and captain of the team. We're here with midfielder and face-off Brian Price, number 13, and midfielder Kyle Cassidy. Um, you guys have been in preseason for the past couple of months. Uh, what are your thoughts on the preseason? Well, we started the preseason. Our fall ball ran from October through November, and um, every day our main goal as a team was just get better, um, you know, make small steps, because the fall ball is a long duration of time and we just need to make small stats to get ready for the spring season uh, which we've been working since we got back after winter break and uh, since then it's been a long month uh, a lot of work a lot of practice but I think we're ready to get into the season now. The day after tomorrow you have your first home game the season opener versus Denver what are your thoughts and expectations for that game specifically? Well Denver's always been a tough squad last year we fared okay. Uh, we were winning with seven minutes to go in the game and lost in overtime. So this year we really want, really want to come out and get that W once and for all as our final season here at the Academy. Now framing this in terms of long term, what are your expectations for the entire season? Well this is going to be a long season and it already has been a long fall, but we're looking to come out and win a lot of games. Um, I'm expecting that we come and we put up a real big fight against all of our big contenders 
mostly in the uh, ECAC since this is our last year. But even out of conference games, uh, we're expecting to do pretty well. Pretty well, and um, we're really just hoping and intending to show what we've done these last three years here and leave our mark this last season we have at the academy. Collectively as a team, uh, what are your, your goals, your specific goals as a team? As a team, uh, our first goal should be to make the ECAC tournament because the last three years playing here, we've had to end our season on a low note, not being invited to the tournament and um, ending our season on a regular uh, season home game. So I think first and foremost, make the tournament and from there we can uh, set our expectations to the NCAA tournament and um, go from there. Both of you are, your final, are in your final year at the academy. This is your last season with Air Force Men's Lacrosse. Um, do you have any personal goals that you would like to accomplish before you leave? Personally, I want to win the ECAC championship. That's been a goal of mine since I started playing lacrosse here and that is something that I'd like to accomplish before I leave. And being this my last year, this is the year to do it. And I, I can speak on the rest of the team that this is something that we all want. And playing with the same senior class for the last four years, it's truly been an honor. And I've built such great friendships with everyone. I would just love to go out on a high note and uh, take the seniors out on a good note and also bring up the younger classes, um, keep the tradition alive, and keep this program moving forward.